Good day, everybody, and welcome on this blessed February 14th. And we are in much reflection of what happened overseas in France. Our prayers and thoughts are with them. We like to speak briefly about reflections leading into and onto peace and how aids of band aids are no longer accepted. But in the receivership of peace in today's world, we see on the news and social media that this is being presented through endless negotiations upon the world stage. We come into a spiritual reality that the ways of man cannot buy peace yet can keep it a false peace for three and a half years. And then for those that are left behind, the torment of false peace come alive. In my youthful days of being a young parent, the mother of my children could hear the difference of pages being turned from the three books I kept at my bedside. The Bible, the complete works of Shakespeare, which would be soon replaced by the sonnets of Shakespeare, and then the third book, The Art of War. In today's world, with my second wife, there are more than a few Bibles next to our bed, along with the sonnets and the, and the art, of war, art of War. I would be listening during that period of my life over, the, over a very interesting shortwave radio that we had, that I was able to listen to Reader's Theatre from an acting company in London. I would marvel at their discipline and the rhythm as they performed various Shakespeare plays. Yet today's world as a whole has lost the basics of discipline. The French say that to part is to die a little, to be forgotten too, is to die a little. As a global community, and us the citizens in this community, the links that we use to bond us together are fragmented and broken. There are millions of refugees that do not have a country, nor warmth of food to give to the young children or newborn children that we have seen on endless news addresses. Countries are being raped daily, as viewed on international news and social media, yet the one percent yet the one percent that controls most leaders allow such puppetry of sound bites that they have our attention that they have an action plan that will defeat the enemy and bring all back to normalcy. Well, my simple question to all world leaders is this define normalcy. Is it normal that a sound bite of peace plan never goes beyond that. Is it normal that most of the leaders have no clue of how to manage the storm, but blame each other when they end up in the middle of that storm? <coughs> Excuse me. We are, was one particular world leader showing off his ego when he claimed, when he claimed an 9 11 investigation was over. Or was that a direct threat to me because it was, and the investigation has never been over? A larger storm is coming. And because the world is fragmented, hospitals being bombed, then apologies are allegedly made to soothe the winds, the wounds from, from the world, and to bring peace to all of us. But the aids of, of band-aids are no longer to be accepted. To bring peace is, is for all, not, not just 99%, but for all of us at 100% in the global community. Yes. To bring change through prayer. For peace is a gift, as found in Galatians 5.22, and this gift can only come from God. Amen. I'm Bryant William Hewitt, and on behalf of my beautiful wife, on her birthday here, November 14th, 2015, we thank you for your time until next time. Au revoir, adios, good day for the people, and peace is at your hand. Grasp it, take it, love it, it's yours. Praise on and praise on.